Well, here we are at the um, storeroom in Pimai, where the artifacts from the last few years at Barnum Watt are stored. Uh, I'm just going to show you a really quick thing today. Here we have this little, rather odd looking object. Now, what we think happened was that on the edge of Barnum Watt, on the western edge of Barnum Watt, and you can even see on our map here, over in this area here, we were excavating. We got down here to the bottom of the site and we found a layer of nice black mud. Now, overlying that black mud was a layer of nice red sand. Very clear difference between the two levels. As we removed the red sand, little patterns in the black mud started to turn up. And then continuing to remove the red sand out of any little holes and cavities, we came up with what we think are the hundreds of footprints of water buffalo, cattle, deer, and probably a range of other animals in the mud on the edge of the site at Barnum Watt. Once the sand is removed, in some places we took plaster casts of the footprints, or what we think of footprints, and this is one of them. This is a really cool one. It looks very much like the footprints of a water buffalo, just like the footprints of the water buffalo that you will see around Barnum Watt today. Um, and what's even more cool about this is that uh, uh, Nellum, a PhD student of Bill Boyd's at Southern Cross University, has been doing some investigations of hard floors, something else we'll look at um, from the site of Barnamot. And one of the things she's done is taken some dates from those hard floors. And we have one about 70 to 80 centimetres above these footprints, the layer of these footprints in, uh, which dates to around about 2,000 years ago. So we know at least these footprints, these are uh, very cool uh, bits of evidence of actual living activity on the edge of the site are at least 2,000 years old. So just one of the very cool little bits of evidence that we have from Barnum Watt.